This is the story of Devon Lawrence, a 23-year-old aspiring rapper whose mugshot recently went viral on social media. With a promising music career and captivating looks that won over many hearts, Devon was on the verge of living his dream of achieving success. However, just days after his mugshot garnered widespread attention, with many women offering to bail him out of jail due to his striking looks, Devon was tragically shot and killed. Was this an act of jealousy, as many have speculated, or simply an unforeseen tragedy? Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Murfreesboro, Tennessee, a bustling city nestled in the heart of the volunteer state, known for its rich history and vibrant community spirit. In this very city, a tragic incident unfolded, leaving a void in the lives of those who knew and loved Devon Lawrence. Devon Lawrence was a 23-year-old aspiring rapper with a magnetic personality and a passion for music that knew no bounds. Born and raised in Marietta, Georgia, Devon's journey in the music industry was marked by perseverance and determination. Despite facing adversity along the way, Devon remained steadfast in his pursuit of his dreams, determined to make a name for himself in the hip-hop world. While his career in music was just beginning to gain momentum, Devon's dedication to his craft was evident to all who knew him. He enjoyed making music and posted his songs on various social media platforms. He invested all his passion and energy into his music, utilizing his art as a means of self-expression. In addition to his musical pursuits, Devon was also a loving son, brother, and friend. His infectious laughter and warm personality endeared him to everyone he met, leaving a lasting impression wherever he went. Despite his growing success, Devon remained humble and grounded, always taking the time to uplift and inspire those around him. As he embarked on the next chapter of his life, Devon's future seemed bright with endless possibilities. However, his promising journey was tragically cut short by a senseless act of violence, leaving his loved ones grappling with grief and disbelief. During early May 2024, a series of events unfolded tragically, beginning with the viral circulation of Devon Lauret's mugshot. Known by his stage name Vonny B, Devon, a 23-year-old aspiring rapper from Georgia, garnered attention online due to his striking appearance. His mugshot, initially captured during a prior encounter with law enforcement, quickly spread across social media platforms, captivating the attention of countless individuals, particularly women, who found him attractive. In the wake of his newfound online fame, numerous individuals expressed interest in supporting Devon, with many offering to bail him out of jail. Despite the circumstances surrounding his arrest, Devon's sudden rise to prominence generated a wave of support and fascination from admirers across the internet. However, the excitement surrounding Devon's viral mugshot took a tragic turn just days later. On May 15, 2024, tragedy struck at a gas station in Murfreesboro, Tennessee, involving Devon Lawrence, mainly known as Bonnie B. The sequence of events began to unfold around 2.30 p.m. at the 7-Eleven Exxon gas station located on Joe B. Jackson Parkway. Devon and his brother arrived at the gas station in a silver Mercedes, where they encountered Juan Charco and his brother, who were in a black Ford F-150 pickup truck, towing a Chrysler 200. The Charco brothers had stopped at the gas station due to mechanical issues with their truck. A confrontation ensued between the two pairs of brothers, reportedly stemming from a dispute over the ownership of the Chrysler 200. Devon had previously purchased the car from Juan Charco, and tensions escalated as both parties became embroiled in the disagreement. The situation quickly escalated into violence, with shots being fired. Witnesses reported hearing more than six gunshots ring out, causing chaos and panic in the gas station parking lot. Cell phone footage captured the harrowing scene, showing the Charco brothers allegedly beating Devon and his brother inside their car. Amidst the chaos, Devon sustained multiple gunshot wounds while his brother was shot in the arm. Despite efforts to intervene and call for help, Devon's injuries proved fatal, and he tragically succumbed to his wounds at a local hospital. 
One of the two people shot and beaten at a Mur Murfreesboro gas station has died from this afternoon. This happened on Joby Jackson Parkway. Our Sharon Danko joins us here live after speaking with the witness. And Sharon, you spoke with someone working at a fast food restaurant who watched this all happen. Yeah, Marius Tracy, a man working at a Burger King right next to that 7-Eleven says he heard what sounded like more than six gunshots and watched everything unfold in awe. Bruh's down, he got shot. Damn the car. Bruh's down, he got shot. Oh. You're watching the moment Daedrian Collier says chills shot down his spine. Oh, we gotta call 911. You're looking at two men repeatedly punch another man inside of a car at this gas station parking lot. Bro, they beating the shit out of bruh. Daedrian recorded it all from the other side of this drive through window. And to make matters worse, he says the beating started off with a string of gunshots. Sound like somebody was at your door just with a pistol, but it was just louder than that. At around 2.30 Wednesday afternoon, Murfreesboro police say two men pulled into this 7-Eleven gas station in a black pickup truck. From there, two men pull up in a Mercedes, a silver Mercedes. A confrontation ensued, and then there were gunshots. And the shooters were the two men inside that black truck. Police say the men shot the two men inside that Mercedes and then started beating them up. Around the other dude out the car started beating on him. Police say one man shot multiple times, laid there on the ground, while the other man, who was shot once or twice, got beaten up, pulled out of his car, and lunged at before he ran into the gas station to call for help. All that was just in a split second. I was really trying to make sure my people were safe. Like, that's really who I was worried about. Lock the doors, make sure we good in our environment. Police arrested the shooters, and paramedics rushed the two shot to a nearby hospital. It's wild, I don't know. Now, police say one of the two men have been charged with second-degree murder and attempted second-degree murder. Following the shooting, Juan Charco and his brother were detained by authorities and taken into custody for questioning. Juan Charco was subsequently charged with second-degree murder and attempted second-degree murder in connection with the incident. He was held in the Rutherford County Adult Detention Center on a bond set at $1.5 million. The investigation into the motive behind the shooting continued, with authorities exploring the complexities of the relationship between Devon Lawrence and Juan Charco. The tragic incident sent shockwaves through the community, leaving Devon's family, friends, and fans reeling from the loss of a young talent, whose promising future was cut short by senseless violence. The tragic death of Devon Lawrence serves as a poignant reminder of the devastating consequences of unresolved disputes. His life was cut short in a senseless act of violence that could have been prevented through better conflict resolution. Disputes over property ownership, such as who owns a car, should never escalate to violence or murder. There are peaceful and legal avenues to resolve such conflicts, and resorting to physical altercations only leads to unnecessary harm and tragedy. When two parties disagree over car ownership, they should first attempt to resolve the issue through dialogue and negotiation. If this fails, they can seek legal assistance or involve law enforcement to mediate and provide a lawful resolution. Courts are equipped to handle disputes impartially, ensuring that both parties have the opportunity to present their case and that a fair decision is reached based on the evidence and legal principles. Resorting to violence not only endangers lives, but also has severe legal consequences, including potential imprisonment and lifelong guilt. It is important to remember that no material possession is worth a human life. Respecting the legal process and seeking peaceful resolutions helps maintain social order and protects everyone involved from harm. The profound loss of Devon reverberates through his family, friends, and community, leaving behind a void that can never be filled. His death highlights the urgent need for societal changes to address issues of conflict resolution and gun violence, ensuring that tragedies like this are not repeated. My condolences to Devon's friends and family. May you continue to heal and one day find peace. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.